You really shouldn't say I love you unless you mean it. But if you mean it, you should say it a lot because people forget. You know, obviously, my brother, I'm going to try not to cry through this thing. But <laughs> while we were close, we were very different. And my brother got the artistic, deep, soulful, not afraid to accept and love every single person while I was more concerned about, you know, what people thought about me or, you know, how I looked or, you know, those types of things. And he taught me that. Love is the most powerful thing in the world. I mean, beyond anything, beyond any force in this planet, love surpasses all of them. And that is what is at the core of you, too, is love. Love will overcome any obstacle that you face, anything that you run into that feels too big. It's not bigger than the love that you have for each other. You guys taught me something that, um, you know, I never thought I could learn in life. You taught me how to love somebody for their imperfections, and that's what you love about somebody. Just appreciate you guys being here um, for us as we continue through our relationship to look to um, and to strive to be. So congratulations to you too. You know, you had all these questions, and, and the cool thing about you, Matt, is you took those things into your heart. You didn't just want to know those things to just have conversation. You wanted to know who she was and you didn't forget. He taught me just how to be a good sister, be a good person, um, and just look into everybody's heart and soul and appreciate for what they are, you know, who they have. You're the type of man that has joy inside of your soul, and it's contagious. It impacts all of us. You obviously came into our lives, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I've heard about you, Matt's talked about you, and, and then it was just like, whoa, there's like something way, 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 way different going on here. Crystal, you have the human spirit that is kind and gracious and forgiving and other-centric. That's who you are, and a lot of us are inspired by the way you live in love four and a half seconds into the conversation where I was like, yep, this is her. Like, you are breathtaking, you are amazing, and your heart and soul is sane. I mean, it's like right there with him. One of the coolest things about love is how selfless it is, and that's, that's the challenge of being human, right? It, it, it's hard to be that because we're not wired for that. We're wired to put ourselves first, and we always were. But what makes this unique and this beautiful it, and what'll make it work is when you place her over yourself and when you place him over yourself. You determine to never let life slip you by, but to live life to the fullest. And that's what you do. That's your value and that's how you live. And we all love your love for life. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I'm Matthew. I'm Matthew. <laughs> You're doing good. We're off to a good start. Receive you, Crystal. Receive you, Crystal. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Crystal. I, Crystal. Receive you, Matthew. Receive you, Matthew. To be my husband. To be my husband. With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my love. I pledge my love. By the authority given to me by God in the state of Alaska, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife. Matt, get it done, man. You can kiss your bride. You can kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Crystal Yuba. Welcome, the bride and the groom, Mr. and Mrs.
everybody that's here has made this. Every single one of you has been a part of creating this. We wouldn't be together if it wasn't for all of you at some point on the way. Every single one of you is a part of that, and that's why you're here. We'd like to thank you for what you do for us. We'd like to thank you for what you're going to continue to do for us. <laughs>